So essentially, if I have this one vertical, if you look to see who was the significant data, how many of the subscribers have this data, or the attorneys have this data, if you divide the asset product, it is the news most distributed between them, and then you aggregate the data and send it back to your broker, and then broker will do a final aggregation and try to look after the planet. Depending on the use case, but usually for our use case, it happens in the software. The other side is the script, uh, how we ingest the image to do. There is one batch ingestion part that we can see down there. So, basically, you have a mixing process that we run somewhere in those jobs, and we uh, store the data on the HTFS. You can also have real-time real-time ingestion, which has data comes in. The real-time nodes uh, we take care of, the like experiment and memory uh, for a while for your friend wants to be able to play. Uh, as soon as they reach a second unit, then you just type them up and put them in the same way and put them in the uh, deep storage. Historical nodes will load those uh, uh, data from deep storage. Essentially, they just copy them over from your final grid, put it in your local list. And then uh, also then we have to do memory memory, so uh, they can run as fast as possible. So why did we decide to go uh, to use the wood? There are like any other software technology, there are a lot of those and that you can come up with. For us it was the horizontal scalability and subsequent response time that uh, was the reason, the reason for us that we decided to go and try to do that. And of course the main limitations that we have, uh, it was the limited query power it has and lack of choice. You can say some more than this slide. So before we started using uh, And when it comes to the API layer, 
one we do is that, uh, as I mentioned, we do nice start files, and then single data sources and examples. Uh, uh, so, for us, we're planning to create a stance schema line architecture on the uh, We have to have a stance step in the right layer, which is essentially uh, the other first. Uh, First way, like a group line that gets one dimension data from one dimension data from the other. We use the result of that uh, as a filter to the second query, which fills up uh, the rest of us. And this is a particularly useful in the use case for us because usually uh, when we think about the length of the sentence, uh, like usually uh, you can't, I mean, you have a lot of data, and you want to show the user is very small set up. Uh, I mentioned we start being to operate in this visual territory. So that's why it's like, I think that our kind of data created there uh, has been responding very carefully. One other problem that we had uh, in June uh, was the distinct notes that it's very easy, we just get it completely for granted in the school system. It is then, uh, uh, in Druid, it is only possible to do the sketch algorithm, use the sketch algorithm which gives you a way to make a semi-acoustic. But sometimes you want to do like a normal and do the exact, do the exact numbers depending on what you see. So then that's why we created like uh, this really is like, you know, we can do a lot of, uh, on a lot of jobs. There are the greater the data sources and associated data sources with the same answer. And also we put the next half of the page. Whenever the these data sources are not there, you can go and fire the output of the algorithm is on the current data view. So having said that, I ask this to shape value and continue to still there and then still there.
just use this driver, just uh, import this driver, and then uh, almost where is it? If there is also one more tool that we have covered on top of the driver called DC code, which is uh, just like uh, my, just like any RDM software, like MySQL client, uh, it's a command line utility uh, where you can log in and where you can uh, connect to the root cluster and then fire queries on the file. So we'll go through a quick demo uh, to, to see how the Ruby SQL queries look like. So uh, we will fire a complicated uh, time series query which involves join. Uh, so 
So the driver layer, which is the top of the SQL layer, uh, and two joints currently we support inner joint, left and right joint. So good is joining our joints. So we do the joints in the driver layer. So and uh, we have also provision for uh, support of virtual statements like functionality, uh, uh, definite parameters. So we can specify a query with the basic the smart key and the key implemented for all the things that they are And uh, the driver, with the driver, you could uh, map the response to a list of objects, which is raw, and you could just straight it. Uh, or you could also specify a mean, which would be autofill uh, uh, free for you, and you get a list of means. So uh, we try to make pretty much all the functionalities that we have uh, in. That's, that's, that's 
problem. But once we, so we have a plan to attach the driver layer to a RPC server so that it could scale and, and then it could be modified by the system. So is the other computer that uses the MySQL logic and the one on that layer? So the, the idea of the MySQL layer is to uh, simplify the transfer. So there's no